All right, let's start with uh, Clark, who's put up 50 bucks. Uh, why is it why is it not a single commentator ever claimed Ukraine or Russia are committing genocide? It is only when Jews don't allow themselves to be genocided <laughs> that they are guilty of genocide. Is this not textbook Orwellian doublespeak? I don't know if it's doublespeak. I think it's definitely a double standard or an incom inconsistent application of what genocide means. I looked at some of the other cases on the docket of the International Court of Justice when that case came up in December. It's a, it doesn't come up that often, but it has come up. I mean, the most, and they talk about this in the debate, that the, one of the most big, uh, significant genocide cases was in, in the Balkans in the 1990s. Yep. And I, so so I, I think there is something to the questioner's point, which is how is it that Israel is being seen as genocidal and this isn't coming up in other countries. Why isn't Russia being accused of the same thing, right? Which is the way you would actually apply it. And I think it, it's just, I don't think people have, for, to connect it to the point you just made, I think a lot of what animates this is just an animosity to the to valuable countries, the Western-oriented free societies, which Russia isn't. And as many of the sort of yep. new white would like to pretend it is, it's not. It's it's a it's a a retrogression to a kind of imperial power and it's about tribal Russian identity. So I think there is something to that for sure. Yeah, and I think that if the United States or, or Western Europe were involved in a war and a lot of civilians died, they would be easily accused of genocide. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 the double standard, you know, suddenly everything's heightened when you talk about Jews because there is anti-Semitism out there and, and anti-Semitism drives a lot of this, but I think much more than anti-Semitism, it's anti again, anti-West. So the 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 uh, the bad guys can do anything. They can kill anybody. They can they can do it in any way they want. And and yeah, well, it's the bad guys, and 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 people don't. But if the good guys do something, then it's immediately labeled as genocide. Or it's immediately elevated to some kind of condemnation of everything that's good about the so-called good guys. Uh, so yeah, Israel's Israel's rich, advanced, strong. It's going to be associated with genocide, no matter almost no matter what the Palestinians do, they'll never be accused of genocide. And this was another point that came out in the debate that Benny Moss and Destiny tried to argue, but again weakly, that Hamas committed genocide or, or its intention was genocidal in um, on October seventh, and uh, Figustine and Rini were having none of it, and. Um, and uh, I, again, I think did a fairly good job at, at kind of uh, not at, at bouncing those ideas away, as uh, deflecting them is the is the better word. Yeah, deflecting. I want to, I want to voice an unpopular opinion. Maybe yeah. I don't think any of my opinions are popular, but I, I'm I haven't done enough reading on this, but I'm I'm dubious about this idea of genocide. I mean, there, there is such a thing, and we know in World War II, the Nazis were about eliminating groups of people. So there's something out there to identify and conceptualize. Yep. But if if you can point to a country defending itself and emasculate them and tie their hands by the threat or the reality of a threat or the, the, of a court case that you're genocidal, how are you ever going to win any war? Yep. So it, it it's just it seems like it's a very dubious way of thinking. It's first of all, it it brings in the idea that well, so, so suppose let's just take an example in World War II. So it, it why is it that retaliating against the Nazis was not genocidal? Yep. How well, do you, some, how people, do you, some people claim it is now, right? So there is an argument, there is an argument out there that says that. What what the what the U.S. did to the to the Germans and what the what they did to the Japanese was genocidal, but it, it makes the concept mean nothing, right? Because clearly the Americans weren't trying to wipe out the German people. They weren't trying to wipe out the the G Japanese people. Germans were trying to wipe out the Jewish people. No question about that. And in Rwanda, I can't remember who who it was. The Houthis did it to Tutsis or the Tutsis to the Houthis, but one of them was trying to wipe out the other one. No question yeah. about that. And that was, I think, a genocide. And you could argue that in the Balkans, the Serbs were trying to wipe out the Muslim population, or at least uh, certain parts of it. So maybe that's genocide. 
but you can't, you're not committing genocide by, by fighting in self-defense and civilians dying, particularly when those civilians are held as human shields purposefully. I mean, it's, it's, it's dishonest and absurd to make that argument. Again, it's, it's, how Rubini could say that and not, and, and the other side, you know, I wish it was a yelling match at that point. I wish they would have yelled him down and said that that's absurd. That's ridiculous. It's evil. That is the epitome of evil to accuse the victim, to blame the victim for what is going on, to blame the victim for genocide.